Um, I've been asked to do like a closet turn video, so that's what this is. It's my first video. I'm a little nervous, but we'll try to do it. Okay, so uh, to start, this is one of my flannels that I have modified. Um, it's got like this patch that I printed out and some other things that I've sewed onto it, including this, um, which was from a t shirt. <clears throat> I have uh, this. Uh, kind of flannelly shirt from my partner as well as this one and this one too um then this yellow one's mine um which is a good one i've got for free at the end of the year when international kids are leaving their stuff behind um this is a blue flannel that i sewed a t-shirt um thing onto with a skeleton um, on the surfboard, and I like that one a lot. This is a flannel that I uh, dipped in some uh, bleach, and it's got some Sailor Moon patches on it that are really fun, and I like a lot. Ooh. Oh, well, okay. Alright, silk shirt time. Uh, pajama section of the thrift store is your best friend um, for these things. I love this one. Um, this one is one that I sewed um, some felt wings that I made onto um, it, which is fun. Um, hoodie with painted patch and printed patch that I need to replace soon, but we'll get to it. Uh, another screen printed hoodie. Um, and this is from Etsy, uh, Fennec Design Co. Uh, they're really good. I like them a lot. Uh, another screen printed hoodie. This is from Wish. Um, it's just a sweater that I cut some holes into and cut the bottom off of. Uh, velvet kind of sweater jacket with some fun buttons. A fuzzy mint falling apart kind of lamb sweater moment. Okay, jacket time. Alright. It's like kind of a school jacket with I don't I don't know what that material is, but like fake bone or something. Um this is from one of my best friends. Do not wear it enough. It is a yellow jacket that's like nice and warm and vintage and cool. Very good time. Um this has a lot of patches that I printed actually, and some bleach splatters, and I um, drew that and uh, put all these pins onto it. So it was a fun time. Um, this jacket moment. Uh, this is a bottle cap that I just made into a pin, which is a not too difficult project that I recommend if you have cool bottle caps. Um, this. I've been embroidering. I need to work more on embroidering this jacket, but you know, everything's always a work in progress here. Okay, I have a lot of cool dresses. So that's next. Uh, this is from one of my best friends. Same one that gave me that jacket. They have the best fashion sense. Um, this always looks really fun with, ooh, like a slip and uh, stockings and different layers. This is like a dance costume that I found at the thrift store that is just like so good to wear to class and you know, feel fancy for the day. Same with this one, a uh, dance costume from the thrift store. Um, this is like a 1920s Halloween costume kind of flapper girl moment that I really like. This is like a vintage style, like Little House on the Prairie dress moment. Um, I really like this one. I got this one recently at the local thrift store and I was so happy when I found it. This is a cherry blossom kind of fairy costume that I made. Um, there are some tutorials up about how I made it. Uh, this is something I'm working on recently, which is a night sky costume kind of dress. So I am just... Um, Burning these constellations um, onto this prom dress kind of moment from the thrift store. So that's that. Then I have a, a couple velvet dresses. 
because we really like those. Uh, this is from the children's section. You know, that's always a great place to find dresses that can be shirts for you as an adult person. This is like a opposite of a children's dress. This is super long and I have to wear heels when I wear it, but it's like cool reflective -y red, red velvet. Feels very like high femme for me. Um, this is from the children's section, so I had to actually sew some lace to the bottom of it, but it's like a little Wednesday Adams velvet dress moment. And this, it's just like a fun, fancy blue, blue moment. Okay. Um, I have a thing for aprons. I have a couple of aprons here. Always fun to wear over dresses and over pants and over whatever. This is from another one of my best friends. Just a stripey dress with some cool floral texture. And these are two dresses that I've um, just like sewed some patches onto that are just fun and like flowy. Um, this is a onesie. It's, um, yeah, I like it. It's a, it's a good one for sure. Highly recommend having a onesie. Okay. Then I have a lot of t-shirts, but I'll show the cool ones. This is a My Favorite Murder t-shirt from the podcast, which I highly recommend listening to if you haven't. Uh, this is a shirt from my boyfriend. Um, he has very good taste. He also designed this shirt. Um, he's a tattoo artist, like I think I may be sad. Um, but that's some of his work. Uh, this is just like a big gray shirt with a heart on it. And my Ouija board shirt, which I get shit about sometimes when I wear it because people are like, you should mess around and, you know. Um, this is like a dress slash shirt, stripey, gray. This is from one of my best friends that also gave me the yellow jacket um, and a dress. And it's just like a fun velvet shirt with some cutouts. Uh, this, uh, my parents got me that patch from Nepal. And I just stitched that embroidery onto the shirt that I found um, in the garage at the end of the year. Ooh. So, this is a shirt that I sewed some, you know, cutouts into because that's always fun. Uh, just, you know, normal, normal t-shirt. Uh, this is a picture of my cats that I got printed onto a shirt. Um, so uh, that's Miss Tuna and that's Miss Lemon, um, and that's a Halloween bee costume that I got for them that they don't wear but just wore for that picture, and yeah, this is a shirt that I just had to cut so I can wear things. Um, this uh, I got from the thrift store, fun time. Oh, another, another one of my cats, Miss Lemon and Miss Tuna, and um, yeah, I designed that shirt and got it printed and it was super good. Uh, highly recommend screen printing things onto shirts. Ooh. This is uh, another good one from the thrift store. Uh, and then just some some pink shirts that are, you know, a fun time. Um, let's see. Okay. Pants. Got these pants that I've had since I was 16. They kind of need some repairing, but we'll get there when we get there. These shorts with some different patches and things on them that I've had for a while. This is another thing that I've put patches on, which is a, like a corset um, little moment there. Let's see. Um, ooh, these are jeans that I put these little patches onto, but they're just like regular black jeans otherwise. Um, oops. These are my mom's pants from like the 80s that make me feel really mask and it's really fun. Uh, quad leggings, you know how it is. Long red skirt. Whoop. This is, um, like a skirt that I've cut into. Um, 
some more aprons that I have. Oh, and I have a lot of plaid. That's like one of my things that I like a lot. So this is a green plaid skirt that I've put this patch on to. Um, but yeah, just like green plaid. And I have this gray plaid skirt that I've put some patches onto. Got good plaid. Um, kind of green plaid that I put a bunch of patches onto at different points in my life, and now they're all kind of pockets, so it's it's good for holding lots of little things. So it's like kind of a gauzy fairy skirt. That's really fun that I got from the thrift store. Um, let's see. This is like a very big poofy clown skirt that I got from the thrift store. That feels really fun to wear. Uh, got this skirt that I made out of some old cartons and other things. Uh, let's see. This is a scarf that I knitted and put some patches on too. Um, I have like different arm warmers and like fishnet arm warmers and different little gloves and gloves with skeleton hands on them are a thing that I like a lot. Um, let's see. I have um, these are my shoes that I have. Lots of um, gothy punk shoes are my thing. Um, let's see. I have different like socks. Um, high socks that are all knitted and fun and stuff. And little low socks with like cat faces and different things on them. And I have a lot of stockings. Uh, lots of stripey stockings are my thing. And glittery stockings and um, things that hold up your stockings. Oh, uh, speaking of like straps. Oh, this is like one of my purses. Speaking of straps and stuff, I have um, this wall of some of my like kind of strappy belts and thigh highs and um, earmuffs. These are some of the pins that aren't currently being used on my, um, whatchamacallit, yeah, on my clothes, I guess. Um, these are some of my necklaces, so I have like, you know, pins, and my parents made this from, um, they were doing the Burning Man thing. Oh, this is uh, from the thrift store. My boyfriend found me this. This is like someone handmade this for sure, but I found it at the thrift store. I have this with like some different unicorn charms on it. I made um, this uh, attached uh, bee necklace to this chain and stuff. Attached uh, these charms to this chain. Uh, mood ring kind of necklace. Uh, antler necklace. So lady riding a moon. I really like her. She's one of my favorites. Um, this Aquarius uh, pendant is from my grandma because we're both Aquariuses. It used to be hers um, a long time ago. Uh, this is like a heart and moon charms that I put on a chain. Uh, this is a third eye pine cone. Um, ooh, I have some different chokers. So this is a cat collar that I made. That I well, I got a cat collar and put this little troll doll charm onto them. This is a collar that I found at the thrift store. Um, this is a collar that I got when I used to work at the Ramp Fitters. This is one that I found at the thrift store. Oh, oh no, okay. Well, um, then I got some different uh, charm bracelet that I've had since I was like a little kid and I've been adding on to it. Um, some little Kind of kid bracelets from the thrift store and the dollar store, and some like spiky things, and some kind of bigger guys. I have some more little pins here. 
that I like a lot. And uh, some more bracelets and uh, rings and earrings and stuff that I've made. These are uh, some of my pins that I have. I have some very good pro doll pins and like some gay pins and political pins and Alice in Wonderland pins. Cool. I have, uh, these are my scrunchies, Ooh. and my hair accessories and stuff, um, and here are my wings, um, and my corns, and my flower crowns, and witch hat, and stuff, and I think that's it, so, oh wait, earrings, okay, sorry, <laughs> um, these are my earrings, and, um, my, uh, bracelets. And stuff. Lots of them I've made just out of like little charms, like uh, little deers and dragons and uh, fairies and hearts and bones and trolls and other things. So, um, I think that's all from for, from me for now. But um, if anyone watched this video, like, thank you for hanging out with me for like uh, 20 minutes or however long. This felt like a really long time. Oh, uh, those are my flower crowns and um. Uh, goggles and yeah, flower crowns that I've like never had. Okay, sorry. Um, that's it for now. Uh, I hope you have a good night. Thank you for watching. If that happened, uh, especially if you're watching till now, you're the best. <laughs> Bye.